so lucky. I woke up to this awesome sunlight coming through my window. It was like a gift, because Toronto hardly gets any sun in the winter. The first thing I do in the morning is I make myself some Turkish coffee, which is my favorite drink in the morning. It's also a family tradition, and I feel close to my parents when I do it. While the coffee is brewing, I had about 6 or 7 minutes to take a shower and brush my teeth. After I showered, I went back to the kitchen and realized that I didn't know what I wanted for breakfast. Has it ever happened to you? You know, you are hungry, but nothing seems appealing. I have even had some thoughts about ordering something, but honestly I woke up with a feeling that I have to make the food with my hands today. I was browsing through internet, looking for some inspiration, but I couldn't find anything that caught my eye. Then I had an interesting idea. Why not use ChatGPT to help me with that? What should I make myself for breakfast if I like eggs, but I got bored from sunny sides up, boiled eggs and scramble? Hello, Nazar. Here are the names of the dishes. Croc Madam. Breakfast burrito. Banana bread. I hope this helps. Dear ChatGPT, uh, can you give me the recipe for Croc Madame and instructions on how to cook it? I can give you the recipe and how to cook instructions on how to make a croque madame. So, there are two French classic sandwiches, croque madame and croque monsieur. The only difference between these two famous sandwiches is that the croque madame has the fried egg on top. This sunny side up egg represents the hat that French women wore in the 60s. Now you can take a screenshot of ingredients that we will use. Wow! Seems like I have uh, more than the half of the products, uh, but let's go to a supermarket and acquire the rest. Typically I would drive, but today is such a nice weather outside. The sun was shining brightly and I felt the warmth on my face. I stopped for a moment and closed my eyes. I finally reached the supermarket, and I was kinda proud of myself that I had a reusable bag on me this time. So I've started looking for the products I needed. The first one that I had to find was brioche bread. I picked up the loaf of brioche bread, checked the price tag, oh my god! Then an interesting idea struck my mind. What if I wanna switch ham and gruyere cheese to something more interesting? If you want to switch ham and gruyere cheese for something more interesting, you have some options. For the ham, you can try different types of cured meats such as prosciutto, salami, bacon, or turkey. Hello, can you suggest me a good prosciutto? Prosciutto? Yeah, which one um, is the best? Right now, this one is on special. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. For the cheese I had too many options, but I decided to go with the most intense one, with a smoked Emmental cheese. On my way out I had to grab these irresistible Portuguese tarts. Wanna see how I tried them for the first time? Click on the top right corner. I know I'm not the only one who goes to a supermarket for a few things and ends up with the two bags of groceries. If you've ever done this, please like this video and tell me what you got in the comments. I got everything that we need, let's start cooking. Turn on the oven, heat to the maximum, grab a saucepan, on a medium-low heat melt some butter, then add a flour, more flour, whisk it in and cook it for one minute, add milk, don't stop whisking even for a moment, salt, pepper, and then nutmeg, and don't stop whisking it until it changes the texture. I took it one step further and melted one piece of Emmental cheese inside. The texture of this bechamel is awesome, look at that, perfect sauce. It smells a little bit smoky because of the cheese that I've added there. What the hell? Okay, let's build it. Two pieces of brioche bread, spread the butter on one of the sides so it doesn't burn from the bottom. Then goes my favorite Dijon mustard. On top we put a spoon of bechamel sauce. Slice of smoked Emmental cheese. Form a layer with the thin slices of beautiful prosciutto. Cover it with another piece of brioche. More smoked Emmental and more bechamel. 
Just take a look at this beauty. Yes, and we put it in the oven. 15 minutes counting down. Don't forget to top it up with a fried egg, or else it will be a croque monsieur instead of a croque madame. What a beautiful and tasty sandwich! It's beyond what I expected to create. I have a feeling that I've just made the best sandwich in my life. Oh my god! ChatGPT, can you help me clearing up the mess after I cooked my croque madame? I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. I'm an AI companion that can only chat with you in the browser. I can't clean your kitchen or do any physical tasks. I hope you enjoyed the Croc Madam sandwich and learned something new from me. It was nice talking to you, but I have to go now. Have a great day.